Alright guys, it's Evan here with GG FIFA, bringing you a new section where I'm going to highlight an under the radar team every week. Going with Sao Paulo. Let's start with the goalie Senny. Any man that makes three consecutive saves like this is good enough for my book. I don't care if he's only a 78 overall. At right center back, I start Casimiro. He's got 90 jump, he's got 84 heading accuracy, 83 shot power. He's pretty damn good. I like him. We got Zandao, 6'4, above average pace for center back. We have Rodolfo, who's also 6'4 with above average pace as well. We have Perry Ibai, I start him at CDM. He's got four star skills, he's got 80 sprint speed. He's pretty good for a CDM. And we have Gene. Gene's one of my favorite players on Sao Paulo. He's got above average pace at 82 with 85 Excel. He has 82 shot power, which is wonderful coming from the CDM position. I put it on display right here. The corner gets pushed out into the middle of the field, and Gene just steps up and strikes into the upper corner. Overall, Gene is effective in the offensive and defensive end, which is kind of hard to say for CDMs on this game. We have Wellington at right mid. He's got four-star skills, pretty much the reason why he's in the game. We have Lucas, five-star skiller, 89 sprint speed, 92 excel. He has 91 dribble. He has 76 cross, which is above average for um, CAM in this game, so I put him at left mid opposite Wellington. Here's an example. I'm going to pull a nice little Ronaldo chop around the defender here, get inside the box, cross it over to Fernandinho. He's going to finish with his head. Fernandinho's only 5'7", but somehow he got his head on it. It's pretty awesome. After we have Lucas, now it's Marlos. Marlos might be the best player on this team. Marlos has 84 sprint, sp sprint speed, 89 excel, but he has 5-star skills, and I don't care what the rest of his rating says, he has a 100 shot power. For some reason, this man's left leg finds the back of the net more often than any person on the game. As you can see here, I use his 5-star skills, pull a perfect scoop turn right around that defender, and strike into the upper right-hand corner of the net. Here's a long shot with Marlos. For some reason, like I said, this man, unlike any other player, not Lampard, not Jared, not Ronaldo, I score more long shots with Marlos. He is on my ultimate team. He's probably my leading goal scorer. He's just a tank. Here's the last example of Marlos just moving around defenders with Gene. Dump it off to Marlos, and he just strikes again into the upper corner of the net. Marlos, once again, is probably top three favorite players on the game. And my favorite player in the game is soon to be coming. Here's Luis Fabiano, four-star skills, four-star weak foot. He has 86 heading accuracy, 88 finishing. He's pretty solid. Here is my favorite player in the game. His name is Fernandinho. A, his name is amazing. And B, this little 5'7 Spitfire is a beast on this game. He has 78 strength, which is awesome for being so small. He has good finishing rating, and he has 86 pace. No matter where I am in this box, this man just finishes it into the bottom corner of the net for me. It really doesn't matter. This man, to me, he's a 99 overall. I don't care. If you score goals for me, you play. And that's what Fernandinho does. Fernandinho is seriously underrated on this game. Stats don't do him justice. I'm just weaving in and out of defenders there, and every single time he just finishes in the bottom corner of the net. As you saw earlier, he's 5'7", but he got his head on a ball over a defender that was significantly taller. It just doesn't matter with this man. He's just a plain beast. Just use his pace to get around the outside and finish with a perfect shot into the far corner. Like, who does that besides Fernandinho? There's a perfect little McGeady spin, get to the inside of the field, and once again, finish. Overall, Sao Paulo is a four-star team, but they may be under the radar, but they are a team to be reckoned with.